You know, nature has a real way of embracing people and things. Hey, Namaskar everyone, how are you? Hopefully everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're gonna stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Now, as always, welcome back means we are on another adventure. That also means that you're gonna wanna know where we are and what we're doing. We are in New Springfield, Ohio. Not Springfield, Ohio. New Springfield, Ohio, which is home to the New Springfield Tigers. Actually, this is where I graduated from, New Springfield. Um, we ended last year. The last video we did was at a cemetery, a little private cemetery, a little family cemetery. I think we're going to start off the first video of the year at another cemetery, another private family cemetery um, I don't know too much about it but it has some really interesting stones and uh, I think you're gonna like it I, I really do think you're gonna like it so if you're ready for today's adventure I suggest you get off the couch you get ready and let's go we are right here right here that is fantastic. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at all of them. I think they're ready to kick my ass. Harden saliva. You're okay. You're okay. For watching my channel. Jesus, God, Mamma Mia, look what we got. Shh. I said there's people still sleeping. Calm down. We're gonna go, we're gonna go. I told you she was afraid of bridges. Do not, stop it now. That is the starting point of the trail. I, I guess, I don't know. You can start at the beginning or you can start at the end. I don't think it matters wh where you start at, uh, but wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh shit. That's why I tell you, take a sip. History. Better Malanga. So hopefully everybody's been having a, a a great start to the new year. Um, I am besides this stinking snow because I'm telling you, anything below 80, I cannot stand. Um, but here we are. Um, I just noticed this when I was coming up, and uh, looks like an old. Uh, an old almost mine shaft car is what that almost looks like but check that out so not only are we doing some cemetery uh a cemetery look or a cemetery uh adventure which is right over there which we'll be getting at shortly but um almost like some urbex adventuring also Look at that, got the gears. All covered, wow. Things you can see, huh? So, yeah, the cemetery is back there. Um, at the, the beginning of the video, the intro of the video, you see me coming up a uh, private drive and that's off of Springfield Road. There's a sign out front. Uh, it, if, if you did again it with these small little cemeteries if you didn't know where you were going you wouldn't even kind of notice you know but here we are at the summers burying grounds established 1826 looks like the springfield historical society um does the maintenance and the uh the taking care of uh the cemetery not a whole lot of information on this cemetery that I could find um, if you do look at some of the older records this was actually also known as the Kurtz cemetery k-u-r-t-z I believe but right now there's the sign and I kind of like this sign because they have this cross up there look at that that's just it's 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 almost creepy these these, these uh old cemeteries these private 
you know, cemeteries, they're, they're, they're almost creepy when you come into them. But let's go take a, a gather. And obviously this fence was probably not here the whole time, if I can shut it. There's the other side of the sign right there. But yeah, look, this is where we're at back in here. There's the private drive that I came up and the main road is down that way. And you probably can't tell because it looks all white. That's Lake Evans in the back. Um, used to do a lot of fishing back in there. That was one of those lakes you paid five bucks you can go fishing back in the day. But let's see what we can find back in here at this cemetery. Yeah, I think you're gonna like some of the uh, some of the stones that we're gonna come across. I just seen something kind of creepy over here. Looks like uh, looks like that might have been a uh, a deer there, but it's totally gone. Right in there. Huh. Yeah. Oh, actually, yes, it was because if you look over there, there's a rib cage. Yeah, something got it. Actually, we weren't too far. There's that cart that was there. Yeah, there's a uh, deer carcass right there. Maybe a coyote. But let's check some of these stones out. This is now we were at uh, last year, we were at. Another cemetery that was kind of small. This one, a little bigger than the last one. But I kind of, we'll take a walk at some of these stones and uh, call out some names, document some names. Go 1840, Henry, Kurt, yeah, and there we go. The Kurtz, I said back in the day that this was uh, also called the Kurtz Cemetery. So there's Kurtz right there. Another little stone. Wow, that one's barely readable. Kind of a unique one here. This one, yeah, see, this is a, another Kurtz right here. 1896. See, a 21. George Kurtz. This is what I found interesting. It's the honeycombs on these look around it's like this honeycomb this honeycomb weave see that honeycomb all of them and then you got a feather i think that's a feather on top now the honeycomb i don't know what the actual honeycomb signifies i know beehives they signify um it could be a member of the the odd fellows um church of latter-day saints but uh most of the time it's now this is the beehive not a honeycomb uh prosperity in that afterlife um so i don't know exactly what that would symbol you know symbolize but i i do like i do like the honeycomb effect on there Here's another. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a three months. Maryland. Hmm. And everybody is adventuring today out in the cold. <laughs> All right. Look at this one. The way it's cut on top. Another little symbol you can see in there. It's mother and father. Yeah, we'll we'll get over there. Because I, I, that's where you're really gonna—that's where you're really gonna like 
uh, what I have to show you at this cemetery. That's the main reason I came today to do this cemetery. And you'll see in a little bit some more stones. It's 1878. 1898, John Haas, wife of John Haas, and here's John Haas himself, some of these old ones here, walk over here, we'll check some, we'll check some of these out. Hopefully the light's okay on here. It's kind of dark today where I'm at. Billman, 63 years old. Yeah, I like these old cemeteries, these old family cemeteries. A lot of Haas too, the, so I see a lot of Kurtz and a lot of Haas. Yeah, like I said, I didn't find a whole lot of information on the cemetery on a cemetery itself. Um, all I know it is if old records you can find, it, it, it was named Kurtz. That one has, uh, who's that, Shillam? Shilling. Shilling. That's so fun. Got a walnut on, on top of there. Okay, let's go over here. There's some other ones over here. These look to be in German. Yeah, look at that. They're in German. All these ones back here. Except this one. I think we can read this one. Kern. In memory of Abraham Kern. 53. against the tree right there now there's the Somers Pauly Somers on the sign it's Summers I believe now I'm seeing Somers yeah so yeah the German English translation so Look at that tree right there. Small ones. Yeah, these these must be children here because you can see the lamb. You can see the lamb on them. Right there. I hope this comes out because the sun is just in the, the way it's coming. It's in a uh, different direction. This is the way it should be. <laughs> that one. A lot of broken ones here too. Not as many as the other one we were at. But uh, broken one. See the squirrels probably with the uh, So yeah, I figured out it's cold. Yeah, now see, here's a Summers. H-U-M-M-E-R, Summer. 
And these look like, yeah, there's another summer. So yeah, uh, now I'm gonna take you to what I really came here for, what I really wanted to show you about this cemetery and what makes this cemetery so unique. You're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. It has something to do with my intro about nature embracing things and people. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to come in here and, you know, document what the cemetery looks like, who's in here. I don't know anybody in this cemetery. Uh, again, don't know much about it, but I know it's, uh, if you didn't know it, it, it was here, you would never know it was here. You know, it's one of those kind of cemeteries, but, oh, look at that down there. Be nice we've seen some animals down there now in my intro we were talking about being embraced by nature uh, and we're getting real close we're getting real close to like uh, the irony of that statement Samuel Jacob now is everybody look at that plan up there now, right here, everybody. Right there, nature embracing the gravestone. Let me walk around to the side. Yeah, I, I'm looking through this screen and I don't, I hope it comes out how I want it to, but look at this. The tree is totally embracing this gravestone and this is kind of why i wanted to come out here and do a video and show you this is that crazy or what and it looks like z-u-m maybe samuel maybe it's the zumendaken zumendaken okay so zumendaken yeah so there's a samuel there so maybe something to do with them but it is written in german right there but yeah the tree uh the tree definitely um embraced embraced the stone yeah that that is that is why i wanted to do the video to show you that i think that's just amazing so yeah me i i like the fact that this is like up in the woods off the main road in the back uh i the honeycomb was was one of my favorites and definitely this right here and i like these old cemeteries uh there is one more thing though that i want to show you that's here okay so all right so i told you there was one more thing i wanted to show you right here it's a geocache i'm not going to tell you where it is um that you're going to have to look on your own those are the rules when you're geocaching but you do know that it's in this cemetery. You do know that it's it's going to be around a gravestone somewhere. But I don't know if anybody's been geocaching before. It's a geocache. I didn't bring a pen. Usually there's a piece of paper in here. You open it up. And there's some... People put trinkets in there. Yeah, there's, uh, people put a bunch of trinkets in there. And let's see what's in here. 
it's in a Ziploc bag. Uh, here's a cross. It's like a ne it's a necklace. So somebody put that in there, or a charm for a necklace. Okay. Um, now what you do is you bring a piece of paper and you write down your name, what date. So I see 11, 18, 23, 10, 22, 23, 7, 13, 23. Um, so this is actually new. I found, I found this before years ago. Um, and since I didn't bring a pen, I'm going to put one of my stickers in here. We'll drop that in the bag. Makes you want to get off the couch, right? <laughs> yeah. So, gonna put this back in here. Seal it up. Like I said, if you geocache, if you geocache, uh, you would bring a pen, you would write your name down on there, and, and so. Um, Oh, I thought I seen oh, I thought I seen a deer back there but uh let me put this back and I'll be right back with you okay so again not a not a long video today uh, I think this this season you know this time of year is when I do the least amount of my videos uh, just because I I work outside and in my free time I don't want to be outside um, I just, I, I hate the cold, um, but we will try to do a video every week. I, I will, rest assured, I will try to do one every week. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to do this first video of the year. Um, I'm, I'm keeping it local. Um, everybody kind of likes to, mostly everybody I know kind of likes the cemeteries, the old cemeteries uh, to document them and such. And uh, I thought this one, would be the perfect one we had the honeycomb like i said those are my favorite we had the honeycomb uh one over there and of course that one is probably by far the all-time favorite just because nature is embracing it i mean that is that is that's just i love it i love it it's just mystical mysterious just that's nature right there that's man is that awesome just awesome and that's and i've seen a lot of i've been into a lot of cemeteries where nature is going over tombstones but that probably is my all-time favorite right there the way that looks yeah i can't that's that's awesome so yeah i i hope you like today's adventure like i said quick video just to get out and uh, do one, and I figured the f I ended I ended with a cemetery last year, and I'm gonna start with the cemetery this year as the first video. Uh, so, Summer's Burial Grounds, you can look that up online. It'll take you, it'll give you the address to it. Uh, it, it is off a private road, like I said, off a main road, up a private road, and uh, it, uh, the cemetery is like to the left. And uh, yeah, r really, really neat up here. And you can find yourself a geocache as well. So cemetery adventure, take some pictures, document some gravestones, and, and uh, maybe find your first geocache if you never went geocaching. So we'll leave it at that. I ho again, I hope everybody's having a fabulous new year. Let's let's kick this year in the butt. Last year was, I'm, I'm glad it's gone. I'm glad it's gone. So we're gonna start this one anew and a uh, little bit livelier. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming with me today on, on today's adventure. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the channel, leave a comment. Okay, and until I see you on the next adventure, wherever that may be, Fatima Lange.